This is Duke University. We were able to send a group of eight students, five undergraduates, three graduate students, and two professors, myself and Katja Wesolowski, a newly created federal university in a very poor urban area on the outskirts of Rio, an area known as the Lowlands, the Baixada Fluminense. The number of Americans that go to the Baixada Fluminense is probably close to zero. When you say the Baixada Fluminense, you mean the violent place, you mean the dangerous place, you mean the place, a place of nobody, a place without law. Brazil does have something which most people uh, you know, a lot of young people in the U.S. are excited about. They do have a system of free higher education. The best universities are federal, public, therefore free, but to get into them, you have to have gone to the best private schools because the public primary secondary education in Brazil is really, really um, inadequate. This has not been accessible to people from poor backgrounds uh, who either don't have the capacity to prepare, you know, it's very, very hard to get in, uh, but also even the sort of support necessary to stay in school. I did get to see the impact on the poorer areas and how um, yes, there's double the number of universities in Brazil now, but there's, um, and a lot of people are benefit, benefiting from that, but there's also some um, things that are not exactly beneficial to, this, to, to the people living there. In our early discussions about this BAS project, um, John and I were emphatic that we wanted it to be collaborative with the Brazilian students, that we did not want our students to go there and feel that they were going to solve the problem of higher education. We arrived without knowing what we were going to do. None of these eight students had, knew each other. None of them knew us, and none of us knew the people there. The best thing of all was that within a day or two, they all became extremely, um, extremely close. John and I sometimes felt like we were the old fogies sitting back watching the magic happen with the youth because being a collaborative project and that they were all, you know, they were all the same age, these students. There was a requirement that they speak Portuguese, so all of them had had at least a year of Portuguese. Even when we, we ate in the school cafeteria for lunch, we ate in the school cafeteria for dinner, even in that, in that context we insisted, even if it was mostly amongst ourselves, and even the Brazilian students, a few of them that did speak English, we didn't want them to be speaking English to our students. And one of the most moving parts of the whole thing, our students standing up, eight of them standing up speaking in Portuguese, and then they got up and told their, their personal stories twice, and it was very exciting to two groups of 40 students who were there, high school students who were there. We all give our stories essentially of how we got to college and a couple of us were first generation including myself and the first person in my family to go to college. I would tell them that I experienced uh, some prejudice for being Hispanic, for being born in Mexico and then traveling to the U.S. afterwards. I came here at the age of five um, and they asked me about that. You know, what is it like to, to have that prejudice in the United States where they think, you know, it's such a great country. Um, they didn't realize that we experienced a lot of similar things that they do. And then open it up for questions from them and then ask them what do they want to know, what do they think we need to know about the Baixada, what's concern, what are their concerns, what are their grievances. This is being conceived of as the, the first stay, step in a process that's going to lead to applying for research grants. To, add, to, ex to look at these questions. And now with this project, I feel much more confident to actually do my own research afterwards. So I'm applying to fellowships to do my own, my own uh, two-year project that I basically have planned out at this point. You know, it's not just us and that country trying to solve this problem, it's we are trying to solve this problem so that we can actually have a society that works. Produced by Duke University online at duke.edu.